In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each atom here in K2CrO4, potassium chromate. These general rules, they'll help us find the oxidation numbers. So we can see that group one, elements in group one, like potassium here, have an oxidation number of plus one. Put that up there. Chromium, we're not gonna see that on our list here, but oxygen almost always is minus two with just a few exceptions. So each of these four oxygens, minus two. We also know that in a neutral compound, and this compound overall has a charge of zero, all the oxidation numbers, they're gonna to have to add up to zero. So we can use that information to figure out the oxidation number on the chromium. So we have two times plus one, that's two, plus, we don't know the oxidation number of the chromium, and then we have four times minus two, that's minus eight. Like we said, all of that has to add up to zero. So two plus six, that's eight, and then we have our minus eight, that would equal zero. So the oxidation number on the chromium here is positive six. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the elements that we knew using these general rules, then using the fact that the neutral compound has the oxidation numbers that all add up to zero, we figured out the one we didn't know, the chromium. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for K2CrO4, potassium chromate. Thanks for watching.